What's good everybody, it is the Super Triple JT here, and I'm not going to beat around the bush about this. There's a lot of games that are just really bad in general, horrible, horrendous, whatever you want to call it. But some of those games, I quite like actually. So in this video, it's in the title obviously, I'm going to name 5 games in no particular order that are considered very bad, but I personally quite enjoy it. So let's get this started. My number 5 pick is going to be far cry 5 so okay i'm gonna be honest i have never played any other far cry game other than this one when i first saw the game playing trailer it just kind of interests me and i do like this game a lot of people say it has a lot of problems and i could see those problems as in you know it's kind of boring or you know it's just repetitive repetitive and whatever the case may be and i gotta say i could see that but i really enjoy it and it's quite silly to be honest and the random events that happen during this game is actually hilarious to be honest i get it i get it that you know probably in other far cry games especially three because that's considered the best one they did these kind of games a lot better but i don't know i think this game was quite fun and you know this story was okay kind of dumb kind of boring but i say the story was fun it was kind of cool and you know this takes up a lot of your time so i guess you have time to kill this is a great game to play especially the co-op the co-op is quite fun i never played it with more than three people but the co-op is really really fun and i gotta say that i had a great time playing this game my number two pick is gonna be resident evil 6 and i've talked about this game multiple times in this channel and how much i pretty much defend this game and i gotta say i do like the game overall there was a lot of problems in the game especially for chris's campaign there was definitely a lot of problems with this game i personally say that i like leon's campaign because it wasn't the most ridiculous out of the whole game it was pretty ridiculous do not get me wrong but it was not that bad compared to others the only problem with this game is it had so much action and it kind of made me question the entire franchise as a whole like i said i did have fun with this game but there's just a lot of moments where you're just gonna start shooting or there's a bunch of explosions and it feels like a horrible horrible michael bay film so that was the biggest concern of the game also the story was kind of weird it all relates to simping and you know world domination things you think i'm joking play the game but yeah it's kind of ridiculous how it goes this far but i do quite enjoy this game my number three pick is going to be watch dogs one so a lot of people did have a problem with watch dogs one when it first released and it was just because it was not what everyone expected when they first saw this game get announced especially when this game was very very hype and ubisoft was like yo this game was gonna be a lot better in gta so they were really hyping up this game but it just came out and no one really enjoyed it as much as they preferred it the problem with this game is aiden pierce doesn't really have a personality in this game. he's really dark and he keeps referencing about his niece that died obviously that is his motivation but it's kind of weird that he keeps referencing it over and over again and I get it, like I said, it's a revenge story, but we don't need to hear it. We already know what is up. And he didn't really have a personality at all. If that was just it. Like he didn't really have emotions to be honest. He was just very, very stubborn, I guess. And it was just kind of weird to see that this is the protagonist that we're dealing with. And people didn't really like him either. So I don't understand why people were super excited to see him in Watch Dogs Legion. I get that it's a freaking previous character that's coming back but it was just kind of weird to think why are people excited for this character to come back if everybody shit on him when he first came out and i said the gameplay was kind of cool also it wasn't the gameplay we expected it wasn't really expected to be a really action type game obviously there was going to be a lot of action in this game we all knew that already we all expected to have more stealth type elements but it really didn't and a lot of people weren't happy about it it was just a super action game with a little bit of hacking in it even though the whole game was supposed to be about hacking my number four pick is going to be saints row 4 so a lot of people did get mad when saints row 4 came out for a lot of reasons obviously because now they have superpowers they're using the exact same map as the game before there was a lot of problems when this game came out because people were saying that this game was lazily made and i get where they're coming from 
and I'll be 100% honest, I do prefer this game over Saints Row the Third. I know a lot of people will get mad at me for saying that because, you know, Saints Row the Third was a more grounded type game, and I get it, and I really wish the franchise will continue forward to be more grounded, but overall, I felt like the game was more fun in Saints Row 4, and I felt like the story was a lot better. Unfortunately, yes, I get it, the aliens and the superpowers and all this stuff were kind of ruining the moment, and that's what everyone was thinking about but personally for me i feel like the story was a lot better in saints row 4 over the third and i get this game was a very nostalgic trip because it brought back a lot of old characters from saints row 1 2 even bringing back johnny gett that was killed off in the last game so yeah it was a huge nostalgic trip and i understand that they were relying on that but i feel like the story was better and more fun even the co-op i believe was more fun but that is just personally me. But my last pick for this list is going to be Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So when this game came out, a lot of people got mad. And I get it 100%. This game was the biggest departure from the franchise in a long time. So I get why this game get mad. But that wasn't even the biggest problem in this game. The biggest problem with this game is that they gave it an RPG route. And the problem with that was... The character that you choose, Alexio or Cassandra, the problem with that is that they were super inconsistent because they're supposed to be a hero type character, but you were allowed to do some wild stuff in the game as in killing innocents and whatever the case may be. When games do that, it doesn't work out why it works in GTA and stuff because you're never supposed to be a good guy in those types of games. So killing randoms is just fine and it works for your character. But a game like this where you are supposed to be the protagonist and the hero type character, killing innocents does not really work. And there's no reason for it to be that way. And the game felt like a copy from the previous title, Assassin's Creed Origin, so it didn't feel like anything was new or even added in this game. And the cherry on top is because how they implemented in this established world with so much lore and whatever, making it an RPG kind of messes up everything. And I get Valhalla's trying to do the same thing also, but I have more faith in Valhalla than I did in this game. So thinking how they're establishing RPG elements, it's kind of scary if you think about it. Because it's going to the point where you are choosing a lot of the routes, who's staying alive, who's getting killed, and something really major that could affect the entire franchise. I understand in previous titles there are some choices that you were allowed to make, but it wasn't really that big of a deal compared of how Odyssey is doing it. Like I said, that kept a couple people alive and it shouldn't have worked and it still doesn't work. But yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys have games that you do like, but a lot of people do not, tell me in the comments down below. I would really like to know. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm out. Deuces.